New details tonight into the Columbus police officer relieved of duty after his comments were captured on body camera footage during an arrest. Thank you for joining us tonight at 5. I'm Ellie Merritt. And I'm Matt Barnes. Mark Taylor has the night off. The police chief calls his comments appalling, and the Fraternal Order of Police is defending him. The controversy surrounds the arrest scene in this cell phone video showing officers kicking and punching Timothy Davis multiple times. Davis was arrested inside an East Side market back on September 1st. He was wanted for assaulting an officer last year. Tonight, he is charged with resisting arrest. NBC 4's Ted Hart obtained a copy of that body camera video and is live tonight with new information about the officer. Ted? Well, and Ellie, uh, the suspect in this case, Timothy Davis, as you said, has a history of uh, assaulting police and resisting arrest. He was a wanted man, and Columbus police were looking for him. So no surprise then that the adrenaline was pumping when officers finally caught up with him on September 1st. But city leaders say there is no way to excuse some of the comments that were recorded on a police body camera. The arrest of Timothy Davis was a very physical takedown. Get your hands behind your back! Stop resisting! Officers punched, kicked, and tased Davis before they were able to get him handcuffed. That use of force is under review. But it's the body camera footage from Officer Joseph Bogard and Bogard's comments about the arrest that are now the subject of an internal affairs investigation. Who do we tase him for? Why don't we just choke the life out of him? I think they did for a while. Good. Good. Bogard was one of a number of patrol officers who responded to the call of an officer in trouble. He's one of a number of officers watching as Davis complains that he can't breathe. Get up. I can't breathe. You can breathe. You're sir. talking. I can't breathe, sir. Officer Bogard's comments suggest he was openly enjoying the scene. I'm a little aroused at this, Davis, just so you know. <laughs> Bogard later describes for a fellow officer how he might have handled the takedown of Timothy Davis. You have to choke him. Yeah. You can't. There's no, okay, I'm going to arm bar you to the ground. You're going to stop resisting, sir. No, I'm going to real, for real arm bar you. And then when that still doesn't work, <coughs> I'm going to choke the life out of you. <coughs> and then while you're drooling on yourself. I'll handcuff you. I believe they're just words. FOP President Jason Pappas says Bogart's comments were inappropriate, but don't rise to the level of being relieved of duty. The officer made a statement that he now he wishes he hadn't been made. I've spoken to the officer. He is absolutely remorseful and wish he could take it back. And this is the first instance of discipline as a result of body camera footage. And coming up at 6, we're going to take a closer look at the potential influence of body cameras at scenes such as this one. Live at Columbus Police Headquarters, Ted Hart, NBC4. Ted